Hey there, everyone. Let's forge ourselves a dark hold. It's finally the time to show you all how I made my dark hold. This thing is one of the most epic props I've ever created, and I'm so pumped to show you guys. Now, the first thing I want to mention is that this is a 3D printed project. The spine and book covers front and back were both 3D printed by a wonderful friend of mine, Vault Fox. I will have all of her information in the description below, but this was a pretty much commission that I needed help with. So it's not like she has these already um, in her shop that you could buy. So I'm just saying, what I'm saying, I'm putting this out for more transparency is that she 3D printed for these for me. Um, I purchased the patterns from a um, an Etsy seller. I'll put the information below on where I found the patterns um, or the, the files, excuse me, the files for the dark hold. And then you can 3D print them yourselves. If you're looking for a foam, um, tutorial. This is not one. Uh, this is a tutorial using 3D printed pieces and then adding them together with cool pages and lights and paint and all that. So just upfront, transparent, that's how this tutorial is going to go. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, when I received these raw prints from uh, Robin of Vault Fox, I went ahead and sprayed them down with Plasti Dip. Now they are very textured, as you can see. So with normal 3D prints, you pretty much have to spray and sand, spray and sand, or layer and coat and sand and all of that. With this, I'm keeping it pretty raw. I did about three or four uh, layers of Plasti Dip and it actually worked out quite great. And the only thing when it comes to sanding that I am doing is just uh, sanding down the edges so they're not so sharp because uh, there's a lot of really sharp edges on this dark hold. So I'm doing it on the inside uh, just to help also the paint stick better and just to take down those sharp edges. The first thing to do is to paint so that's, let's go ahead and paint. I chose to do a gold uh, toned dark hold. A lot of people have done silver, then pewter, they've done a combination of both, but I'm going with gold. I use the treasure gold acrylics from uh, plaid paints and these worked great. I used a fan brush and watered down the paints and just worked in layers uh, using more of a weathering technique. This worked out wonderful for both the spine and the covers. Okay, so one of my number one questions I get on my dark hole is where I got these pages. These pages are Googled images that I just printed off on toned paper. I Googled like Book of the Devil, Satanist imagery in books, found some things of my own, Photoshopped images together. So this was really a, an, a, <laughs> a project of uh, guessing. <laughs> so do what you want. Um, these pages, I, I don't have the files for anymore. Um, I made this project a while back and I'm redoing it for uh, its own tutorial right now. So I highly suggest you Google image like book of the devil, Satanist books, imagery. You'll find some stuff. I promise. I just did 
that as well. So when I had as many pages as I want, I printed them off on toned paper to give already an antique look. So now I'm going to assemble the pages. So right here, I wanna go ahead and tell you if you choose to put lights in your dark hold like I did, you'll wanna follow me from here on out. If you do not wanna put lights in your dark hold, at this point, go ahead and glue your pages together front and back. Um, the I keep these pages open um, when I'm assembling the pages so I can go back in and um, add in the fairy lights, the orange fairy lights that I have in that you'll see later in the video. It will make sense as you further process into this video. So right now, I am finding spots with the pages. Um, I did one sample page and now I'm just kind of cutting down the rest of the pages so that they'll fit my dark hold, which my dark hold is a little bit less than letter size, so I do have to go in and trim. And of course I want the pages to look a little ripped, a little um, weathered, torn, so I'm taking a rotary cutter and doing that. So the pages are ready to go now. Let's assemble the book. So I took three pieces of felt and just hot glued them together, as you can see, right like this. Um, this book assembly is not perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, it's not. I went through a lot of different trial and errors with it, but hot glue works the best with the file, um, uh, with the um, felt and the 3D printed pieces. So I suggest using hot glue for assembling your entire book. I, I tried to use 36,000 and it didn't really work. It just didn't stick. So hot glue coming in. Uh, yeah, so three pieces of felt to assemble the spine and the covers together should be plenty. This book is floppy, you'll see in a second, um, but it makes sense, trust me. Here, so here is where I am making the placement for my lights. I have a battery pack right here and, and some fairy lights that I'm making a pocket for in the back with some craft foam. Basically, I'm just showing you how I do it right here. I assembled the foam around the pocket, around the battery, kind of pushed the foam down to kind of make a little bit indent, and then placed hot glue down and just made a pocket. Now, this is also a really good option if you want to make your dark hold a purse or uh, some kind of holder for items at a convention. Um, honestly, I've taken, <laughs> I uh, put another pocket on the front end of the dark hold for my phone, and it was a, such a smart idea. All right, so all my pages are ready to go. Right now I'm going to assemble them. I'm going to bind them together. Um, I'm marking spots with my owl so I can go ahead and poke the holes in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and also jump in here and say that uh, I don't really show you how I bind these pages together because it failed me um, at the end. So I don't want you to do the exact method that I did. Don't be like me. Do some research find some better book binding tutorials. I should have listened to the internet, but I didn't. So um, I'm putting the holes in the spots uh, where I'm going to be binding it together. And eventually it does work out, you'll see. But I highly suggest you find your own version of how to book bind. Um, this version I'm showing you literally right here is not one to do. It ends up just ripping the pages. And I do not suggest don't be like me. See, look, as soon as I opened it, ripped pages, ripped pages. Ah, could have been about the placement I put the holes. I don't know, I don't care. I'm not going back in and redoing it, but it didn't work out. So I ended up having to take all of that string out and redoing uh, my binding. And it, I found another way and it worked out just fine. Um, but so let's, let's just move on to putting the lights in. Really simple, if you decide to do the lights, this is how I did it. I opened the uh, pages that I did not glue down together and I just kind of organically threw in the lights, poked holes in the paper, pushed the lights through. Once I liked the placement, I hot glued the pages together to set where the lights were. It is kind of odd and a little beat up and worn, but it's supposed to look like that. I wanted it to look very, very worn, like it's been through a lot of years and so when we start aging the pages with paint and water coming up it looks a whole lot better than it does right now i promise okay so now the lights are in 
pages are sealed. It's time to make this look way better than it does right now. I'm taking watered down gold paint, same gold paint I did the covers with, and I'm just organically placing it all over the pages. I mean, I pretty much painted all these pages with a ton of paint. I want it to look super weathered, super worn. Um, the key is to water down your paint, so that will also crinkle the paper and uh, will help with that worn look. So I'm doing layers of gold, different tones of gold, and I believe in the next uh, video slide, I'm also doing uh, layers of silver to kind of give it a slate look as well. Yeah, just like this, using a fan brush and just going in and weathering to town. Once the pages are to your liking, let's assemble the book. Once again, bringing in my hot glue to place a bunch of hot glue on the spine of the pages and pressing down in the middle of the spine of the book itself. Letting that sit for a little bit and then the pages will magically fly open just like so. Love the way it looks. But now I think the front and back pages need to be glued down a little bit better. So when I open it, it kind of forms into the open, uh, open shape of the dark hold. And I really like the way that looks, especially in pictures when I pose and I can just open it and the pages kind of like fly open. I like the way that looks. So I'm just sitting here um, gluing down some more spots with the pages and making sure they do not come off the spine of the book. Once all my glue is nice and set, I went ahead and did a little look through the book. I love the way this looks. I think I actually, after this, ended up going back in with more paint and splatters and made it look more weathered. I just think this is so cool. So now we're gonna try to find the placement to draw out the Scarlet Witch uh, art. So I just found this art off of Google and I am tracing it in with a big fat brown marker, just freehanding it, because I don't think it needed to be too perfect. Um, it worked out just fine, just, but if you have a hard time freehanding anything, um, like I said, there are several images of this exact symbol on Google imagery, and you can just print that off, trace it, or actually composite onto the page when you print the page itself. My dark hold is now finished. I love the way this looks, how I can just pop it open and it lands directly on that Scarlet Witch page. It's perfect for posing if you are Wanda or if you're Agatha or if you're anybody that really wants to just carry on the dark hold. It's a pretty badass prop, not gonna lie. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry it took me forever to get it out to you all, but hey, it's here. Enjoy making your dark hold. If you have any questions about the build, please place them below in the comments and I will get right back with you. And if you would like to see more about my Scarlet Witch build, please check out my Scarlet Witch build playlist on my channel. And until next time, bye y'all.